Hello guys, welcome to Define Agile. My name is Anatoly and in this channel we talk everything Agile, Agile tools like Jira. Today I'm going to show you how to add a user to be a super admin in Jira. Not a project admin, but admin that can manage Jira as a whole. It's a very important because sometimes you guys are asking me, Anatoly, I don't see certain things, so we don't have the right permissions. So you can send this video to your administrator and they will be able to add you as a super admin. Before we do that, I have two things I want to tell you. Thing number one, if you guys want to learn Jira from basic to advanced, I have a course. It is pretty straightforward. It's about eight hours. allows you to learn everything you need to know to be very efficient in Jira. Go to get my help section in the description for this video and get the course. You will not regret it. And the second thing is if you're completely stuck and need somebody to help you out, I have an hourly consulting. We can sit down with you and help you with any of your Jira issues or Agile or strategy, whatever you need. We're here for you. Go to get my help section and there's a calendar link. You can get yourself into our calendar right away. So now uh, I'm in one of my projects, which is a Scrum project, and I want to add my friend Tom to be a super admin so he can manage Jira same way I do. And I'm a super admin myself. So how do I do that? First, I click on the magic wheel that is settings, and then you go to a user management. So click on user management. When we are at the user management, you might see a lot of users and uh, Click on site admins and just see site admins. So those are organization and site administrators. So that's myself. And let's say you want somebody else to be a site admin. So for that, we can go and uh, let's find our friend Tom here. He's not a site admin, so let's remove this. Here's Tom. We want Tom to be a site admin as well. How do we do that? How do we do that? We click on three dots. We click on show product access first. So he has access to Jira software, Jira service management, Jira Confluence. If you want to give him access to all of them, that's cool. Click save. If you want to just have the Jira software, that's also possible. Here you can decide which products he has access to. If you want to be an admin, Organizational admin might make sense to have access to everything. Then click on three dots again. Click on add user to group. And here we have administrator grant access to all applications and their administrating features, excluding site administration. Confluence users, site admins grant access to all applications, their administration features and site administration, which includes managing users and bills. So this is a very distinct way how you can make sure that somebody is an admin. So if you want to give them access to everything, you give them site admin access. If you want to give them just access to all applications and their administration features, you give them administrator access. If you yeah, trust people a lot and you want to give them the same permissions, I would usually give site admin access, admin access, Jira admin access, Jira service desk, so we're gonna give them as much as possible so they don't they have everything. Then I click add to group. Now we need to refresh the page. And here is our friend Tom, who is now a very, very cool site admin. So now if we look at all site admins. Me and my buddy Tom are site admins. Now we can click on Tom. And see that Tom is a site administrator and every everything he has probably don't need a lot of those things you mostly need a site administrator so if you want to remove them let's say you're like okay this is the same this is redundant if he's a site admin he has access to everything anyway so just remove them from those And then add to group. Let's try again site admins. Not sure why I didn't add there. And then just leave them like this. You'll have access to everything anyway. If you're not sure, go back. Click on yourself. 
see where you're at, side administrator, side admins, same thing. So now you made a Tom a super cool admin. Here's the side admin now has permissions to do everything you can. And uh, that's about it. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments down below. I know it's a lot of information. I try to cover different use cases. And uh, if you think that brought you value, please like and subscribe because we want to share this to more and more people. Thank you for watching. See you next one. Bye-bye.